Hi, thank you for reading with me. We're going to read A Seed Grows by Antoinette Portis. This is a fun one. We're going to actually grow with the seed. Look, a seed grows. What do you see? Do you know what kind of seed that is? A seed falls. and settles into the soil. Look, half of it's going down into the soil. And the sun shines. Bright sun, bright blue skies. And the rain comes down. Now time for the rain. So we have sun, rain, and soil, and the seed sprouts. What's growing from the seed? It's coming out and going down and pushes into the open air. There's that. It started out, it looked like just the root, but look, it's pushing up too. And the plant grows. Now it's stronger. The leaves came and it dropped the seed. And more rain. And grows. Even taller. See the seed and look at the roots are growing deeper. I like the shape of the roots and grows. Wow, look how big it is now. Until it forms a bud. What's inside the bud? Do you know? What's going to happen? You got to move it down. Watch. Whoa. The bud that blossoms into a flower. That's what was inside. It's opening little by little. Woo! Which fills with seeds. Look at all of those seeds in the sunflower that drop to the ground and feed the birds. Tweet, tweet. And they love the sunflower seeds that nest in the leaves. The birds make their home in the leaves, in the tops of trees. See the seed? They carried it up where the sun shines. <gasps> Oops! And a seed falls. Where is it going to land? in the soil and then it's gonna settle in the soil look parts of a sunflower seed striped shell and the seed is inside what the seed needs to sprout soil sun water air parts of a sunflower plant the flower is an important part of the plant the large petaled structure actually contains hundreds of tiny flowers in the center. When pollinated, each little flower produces a new seed. The bright color of the flower petals attract pollinators like bees and butterflies. Leaves gather energy from sunlight and turn it into food for the plant through a process called photosynthesis. The stem or stalk holds the leaves up to the sunlight Inside, it has channels that carry water and food around the plant. Roots not only anchor the plant, they draw water and minerals up from the soil to help the plant grow. And here's the life cycle of a sunflower plant. We just went through that. First, the seed has to fall. Then the seed sprouts. Stem, leaves, and roots grow. A bud forms. A flower blooms. Seeds form, 
seeds disperse, and then if one gets back to the ground, it starts all over again. Isn't that cool? Thank you so much for reading. I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>